stuck to the coaster. It's better. Got ourselves a coffee. In my Harrods mug. I didn't buy this. Um, it was my grand and granddad's who have both left up. Or basically, they both passed away in the last um, couple of years. I need to wash my his hair product still in there. Anyway, yeah, moving on. I'm babbling here. Right, today we're going to talk football and football transfers, football transfer news. That is on today's agenda. How are we all though? It's Ollie's ASMR world here, as you probably know. If you didn't, now you do. Hello. So, I suppose the 
idea of winning a title with the club that he left to join us with. I mean, they probably would win the title with him up front, the Portuguese title. Maybe that is slightly exciting to him. I think he'd be lying to himself and to us if he said uh, like that means to, like a lot to him. I think the fact that he's talking about going to Sporting Lisbon rather than playing for Manchester United really says it all. And I, I think he's lost a lot, I do mean a lot, of the respect from United fans who hold him up as our greatest ever player. I do, obviously, because of what he's gone on to achieve. Maybe not our greatest ever player whilst he was with us. The greatest player to ever play for us, if you know what I'm getting at. Potentially, anyway. Um, I mean, I think it's down to him or uh, or Eric Bailly. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think Ronaldo just needs to go. Uh, I don't care where he goes. I think we will be way more fun, exciting. Um, play Ten Hag's way without Ronaldo there. And I can see Ten Hag, he won't be like an Ollie who's a bit of a walkover. I think Ten Hag will, if Ronaldo stays, he ain't walking straight into the team. No way, I think Eric will be strong enough to say no. You're not starting week in, week out. You start what I tell you, you can start. If you don't like it, well, can't play with it. Under 18s. Anyway, other than that, in transfer news and rumours, Let's get on the Sky Sports app. Up, 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 up. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go, 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 go. Uh, Man United. Be back on me, Matt. Yes, the first story on there, so. Oh, I wasn't just continuing to talk about United on purpose. United will test Lazio's resolve with an offer of 42. 42. Pence. No, million, obviously. For Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Right, okay, so this is going to be an alternative to Frankie de Jong. If anything, we should have maybe done this about six weeks ago because de Jong, I don't think, wants to join us. Tottenham are looking to push forward in their pursuit of Roma's attacking midfielder Nicolo Zaniolo. Or oh, call him Nicolo Zaniolo. According to reports, well, I'm guessing obviously Conte knows this lad from his time in Italy. Um, Paratici, the transfer guru at Tottenham currently, likely knows uh, quite a bit about uh, Zaniolo, and maybe that's what they're looking at. Look at that! Pretty close to the stuck to the cup. Um, I mean, Tottenham midfield's pretty stacked. I mean, Bizuma, I know neither are attacking, but you tell me. Uh, Pentacle, I mean, we're all three, I'm going to get in the team. That's without adding an attacking midfielder as well. Ah, oh, bloody love a black coffee these days. So good. Right, Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardi Guardi Guardiola has lifted the lid on some of the departures of Raheem Sterling and Alexander Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus admitting his side will miss the title winning trio next season when you put it like that I think they will I think if you give City fans the option of having Jesus and Sterling up front I'm not going to say it's ahead of Holland, but instead of this new lad Alvarez, who, let's be honest, we don't know a lot about him. Stats can be deceiving. Um, but yeah, on paper, I can see why they'd want Jesus and Sterling instead. Uh, free agent Aaron Ramsey is attracting interest from MLS. Well, um, Bale's gone over there, hasn't he? It's a lighter schedule in the MLS, a lot more travelling, um, you travel a lot further for games, but the league is not as rough and tumble as Serie A. Um, Kieran Trippier has confirmed Man United were in for him when he first explored the 
possibility of returning home from Madrid. Yes, we know, Kieran. We know. We. I wanted you at United. Marseille are reportedly growing increasingly optimistic that they can complete a move for Williams Lieber. Despite Mikel Adeta making it clear the defender is part of his plans at Arsenal. Wow! This lad is having no bloody luck, is he? They're also looking like they're going to get Nuno Tavares, or Nuno Tavares from Arsenal after Arsenal signs Zinchenko. And they already have Tierney. It looks like Tavares could be on his way to Marseille, probably on loan. Juve are reportedly looking for a replacement for the injured Paul Pogba just two months after he signed and have Sal Niguez lined up. So, in one transfer window, Juve will ship down one flop of a midfield in Aaron Ramsey and brought in two more flops from the Premier League from last season, Paul Pogba and Sal Niguez. Well done, Juve. Now, I have to say, I had a little warm, fuzzy feeling in my stomach the other day when I read that Paul Pogba would be out injured for up to two or three months. I was like, yes, get in result. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want the bloke to be like, to have his career ended or anything like that. But if we can, as a United fan, who's had to put up with his half assed displays for the last god knows how many seasons, if we can just get a few little periods over the next few seasons where he has maybe six months to a year out um, and doesn't get to do the thing he loves, then I'll be happy with that. I mean, he'll still get paid, so he's not going to lose money, is he? But let him be Juve's problem from now on. Chelsea are refusing to sell Armando Broja after rejecting West Ham's 30 million bid. The only logic I can see in that is that Chelsea, if they sell him, then they, they then need to replace Lukaku, Broja, uh, or Broga, I think it's Broja, how you say. Um, is not really lived up to it, so that's another one. Pure six has been a bit of a flop, in my opinion, it's another one. CH as well. Chelsea have a, they have a lot of attacking talent. They aren't very good. Cesar Aspilquete is still in talks with Barcelona. What a mess that is. So, Barcelona are basically becoming Chelsea's nemesis. They took Andres Christensen from them. They got Jules Conde from Sevilla when oh, Chelsea won him. You can imagine Chelsea would have liked Lewandowski. Um, all that's left to do is take Aspilicueta, Marcus Alonso and Thomas Ducal. I may send out to Barcelona. Napoli have reportedly been offered the chance to snap up Cristiano Ronaldo by the Manchester United strikers agent Jorge Mendes. Or George Mendes. Nap I could see him at Napoli. Walking in the boots of um, the late great Maradona, who was a legend at Napoli. I could see Ronaldo want to do that. More than the sport in Lisbon one anyway. Arsenal goalkeeper Ar Arthur Okwankwo is set to join crew. Great deal for crew. I love a bit of Arthur, I do. Marseille have entered advanced talks to complete a shock transfer for Alexi Sanchez. The former Man United, but never was. He never was a great for us, was he? Leicester are reportedly targeting Greek goalkeeper Odysseus Vlachim, somebody anyway, from Benfica as a direct replacement for Casper Schmeichel. Leicester is an odd one, isn't he? I think next week. I'll do some videos going through the transfers of each Premier League club so far. Leicester is a really strange one. The fact that they apparently will sell Casper Schmeichel to Nice two weeks before the season starts. I can understand.
understand if it's the end of the season and in the first week or two you move him on but a couple of weeks before the season kicks off such an odd move really really is um, and then you have um, the fact they're not signing anyone to limits as well is he coming is he staying is he going to an end of our video guys take it easy I'll see you all again very soon